<laughs> How you doing? <laughs> My parents moved to Woodridge when I was one years old and from the get-go I was introduced to the outdoors. These trails are where I learned to walk, they're where I learned to ride a bike. It's where I first learned to enjoy being outside in creation and, and finding joy in, in nature. Morning, it's a beautiful day and uh, today we're taking you around the Woodridge Trails. So the loop that we're doing today is on the Woodridge Cross Country Course and it is about 8 to 10 kilometers depending on the variations. Fortunately there are a few different entry and exit points so if you get tired halfway through it's easy to get off if you need. So this next section is one of my favorites on the whole course and uh, it's super technical, very rocky. Um, and has the distinct tunnel-like characteristic that makes Woodridge such a special trail to ride. This next piece is also one of my favorites. It's actually named after my dad, who was one of the first trail builders here back in the 90s. The most distinctive feature of this part of the trail is the rocky off camber corners. Cornering here is tricky, but a lot of fun. On this variation of the course, you've got a beautiful long downhill. But of course, you gotta ride your way out. Yeah, this is not a flat course. It's not an easy course. There are some decent climbs, but there are also some properly fast sections. None of these sections are quite as far, fun, or fast as the Western switchbacks. So on this section here, this whole trail coming down, we've got lots of U-turns, U-bends, and we've deliberately not put berms at the top of the corner, because historically the most fun part of this trail is that it doesn't ride like a modern, big, bermy course, with lots of just straight flow. It's very breaky, duck in the elbow, around the corner. So here, you're skidding in, you're braking hard, and then the berms only helping with the exit of the corner, um, which I think makes this quite, quite uh, unique in terms of modern day trails. Knowing this course like the back of my hand, I can safely say it's one of my favorite trails around. It's got its own character, its own feel, and uh, honestly, there's not a single trail that I would trade to have in my backyard. <laughs> 